Hi. I just wanted to do a quick video about synchronization between pagan divinities or spirits or any spirit relating or that's outside of the Christian sphere, um, including folk saints, and comparing them with canonized saints. Um, a good example of this would be, excuse me, Cuban Santeria, uh, Palo Mayombe, um, Haitian Voodoo, uh, Louisiana Voodoo. Um, I sometimes see uh, forms of this in Wicca, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a different video. Um, the reason why I made, I'm, I'm bringing this up is because of I have actually have found it easier to buy uh, Christian idols and Christian iconography statues of saints um, around my area that I live in Charlotte uh, it has a big Latino community so the, they're everywhere they're at the, the grocery store the laundromat um, bookstores there are obviously Christian bookstores um, you can find them probably in Lowe's for yarn, yard decorations like uh, St. Francis of Assisi, who's patron of animals, and blah, 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 blah. But um, I. Now that you know that I found it easier to find saint statues instead of pagan statues in my community. Um, I have been trying to compare uh, the three basic Thelemic deities, Nuit, Hadit, and Rohal Kuit, to Christian saints. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Hadit, and I'll talk about the subsequent, or the other two, in another video. Um, but I compare Hadit, the atom of all things, the heart of Nuit, uh, you could say the sun, father force, uh, with Anthony of Bauda. <coughs> um, he's usually shown with the infant Jesus, who I represent as Rahul Kuit, or you could just say Horus, and usually this Jesus, this infant Jesus figure is standing on top of a red book that Anthony is holding in his hand. Um, this book is used to be one of Anthony's favorite prayer books um, and the miracle behind this story or the why he's portrayed with this figure is because he lost his favorite prayer book and he petitioned the infant Jesus to find it for him and miraculously it got found. Um, which I think it is a bit of hoo ha. We find books all the time. But, you know, the symbology is important to comparing this Christian saint with um, the second entity in the Book of the Law. Uh, the book that Anthony holds is obviously the Book of the Law. Um, Anthony, or not Anthony, but had it in the second chapter of the Book of the Law states, Who worships Harupakrath have worshipped me, ill for I am the worshipper. Liber al vel Ligus, chapter 2, verse 8. Um, Anthony is obviously the worshipper of this infant Christ. So, Anthony is Hadit. He's holding the Book of the Law. And on top of the Book of the Law is this infant Jesus, who is actually Raharkuit, or Horus. So, in a sense, um, that phrase that I just told you about saying that Hadet is the worshipper and the worshipped kind of fits in with this iconography. Um, his emblem is a lily, which um, can correspond with Mercury and Venus, or not Venus, but Virgo, um, which both have connections with Hadith. Um, 
other forms of synchronization that you can do for romantic deities to St. Anthony would be Addis or Adonis, who also fit in with the Hadith framework. Um, I've also found some interesting facts about uh, the days that he's fetid on. The days he's fetid on is the Ides of June, or the 13th day of June. Um, usually during the lunar calendar, the Ides of any month was when the full moon occurred, and the Ides of June is called the Flower Moon, or Quinquatrius Minuscule, which is, um, I, th I believe it's a small celebration for Minerva, the goddess of wisdom. Um, Anthony is considered a general in the army of Brazil, hence in some Santeria uh, that are located in Cuba or Candomblé, St. Anthony is associated with war spirits. Also, I digress. Um, I was going to the school with a foreign exchange student from Rio de Janeiro, and she told me that they have more Avon ladies than they do when they have people in the army, and I just thought that was funny, so there you got it. Um, also, uh, it was, I also, uh, I also uh, incorporate Piscean imagery with St. Anthony of Pada because it was claimed that Anthony once preached to a group of fish when a Jew would not listen to his preaching. Um, hence, showing the miraculous, the miraculous feat of preaching the Christian gospel uh, in order to convert this Jew. It's bad. You never want to convert a Jew over to Christianity. It's just it's untastely. Um, But there you have it. I um, just wanted to bitch about synchronizations with Christian entities, uh, with modern pagan ones. Which is, it's not necessary, but it's easy because I find more Christian statues and it's so much easier to baptize them in the name of pagan entities than buying hundred dollar statues of beautifully sculpted fake bronze idols. First world versus problem, I guess.